here with senior Jordan Pacheva to preview the 2015 Concordia cross country season. Uh, to get started here officially in a couple weeks. Uh, you ended track season, uh, the outdoor season last year with a couple of good races, all conference performances. Uh, part of a, a GPAC championship team uh, in track. Uh, how big of a, a thrill has it been, first off, to be a part of teams like that that have accomplished things that, that hadn't been done before at Concordia? That's that's what you dream of when you go here. That's partly why I wanted to come here as, you know, right out of high school, you, you got that thrill of going to these competitive colleges or Concordia where they, they want to win, but they want to do it through Christ. And to accomplish these things, um, is just phenomenal we it's a it's a goal but at the same time we're we're just focused on each other and doing our best and kind of took care of itself now since the end of track season what is preparation like then to get ready for cross country i imagine maybe your training's a little bit different uh there's a certain amount of mileage that you have to get in uh what's that like yeah um, coach, I, w I went into training right away. I was really motivated after GPAC, and so I was putting in anywhere from 50 to 60 mile weeks, topping out at around 70. But um, now we've kind of we've started back into it a little bit, going with a 50 mile week last week. Now, a lot of the, the top runners are back from last year, with obviously the big exception being <laughs> Ben Sievert, who, who is an All-American. Uh, with with you being a senior now, what responsibility do you feel to, to kind of to take over that role and to take some of the leadership as well? Yeah, um, D Taylor and I definitely feel the leadership. We're the only two seniors, and so we feel that we really got to step up our running wise more because yeah Ben was a big loss but it's still a team sport and you feel like you're ready to to take on a role as a front runner and, and kind of be that that guy at the, the top of the pack yeah I it's I'm usually not so much I usually don't lead through words or vocally but um I usually do it through actions and with Ben going down early in the track season forced me to step up into that role and I'm all for it. I'll take full responsibility and do whatever I can to help the team. Uh, has a team qualified for, for nationals your first two years and then uh, last year didn't quite make it but how much has that maybe motivated you and, and your teammates to try to get back to, to that level? Yeah, it's it's definitely a huge motivation. But like you mentioned, not qualifying last year as a team or individually, just with Ben was a huge disappointment. Um, finishing fifth in the G Pack for cross country is never acceptable for us. We have high standards as all the Concordia sports teams do. So we we embrace the challenge and we're gonna go after it. You have guys like Chris Shelton, uh, Taylor Mueller, who you mentioned, Colton Gabehart, Patrick Wartman back. What have you noticed uh, about them in terms of their work ethic, their improvement uh, over the summer and, and since last season? They've definitely improved right now. Um, Chris kind of had a little bit of a... Had a little bit of a cold that sidelined him during the summer, so he's kind of working through it. And Taylor's come back from an injury, but he's running great, and so is Colton. And Pat's working through a little bit of an injury, but these guys are definitely working just as hard. So. How much of a boost can you you get from some of the new guys? I know, <laughs> coach. There's a couple of them that coach is is pretty excited about. Yeah, we have four new freshmen this year, and right now Thomas and Evan are running really strong. They've actually been leading a lot of our runs. They come from great Class A programs, so they're very experienced in the paces that we're running at and 
just they they understand the expectations and it's great to have them part of the team they will definitely help us um, reach our goals this year now, you you mentioned how expectations are, are always high for the program uh, there's been a lot of success under under coach Einspar here uh, what does it mean for you to be part of that kind of program that, that has had that success and has those expectations well that's like I said that's that's why I came here um, coach is great he he understands what we're capable of and how to best uh, help us reach our full potential so I mean he's what been doing this for 25 years and has um, an enormous success I mean coach of the year and outdoor track so he knows what he's doing and he's doing a great job so you said fifth in the, the GPAC last year start this year receiving votes in the the national poll uh, I know you want to get back to nationals what specific expectations do you have for for you and, and for the team um, individually I'd love to be all conference again like I was a couple of years ago for the and I'd love to get back to nationals, but right now it's not my focus. As for a team, we we want to get third in the G pack. I mean, obviously we want to win it, but we understand that teams like Morningside and Northwestern and Dort, um, they're going to be tough to beat, and it's early on in the season. And you have up and coming teams that are ranked behind us like Midland that have recruits coming in that have had a lot of success in high school so goal goals to get third right now and I think it's definitely accomplishable and maybe um, get a wild card berth if we don't win the G pack to nationals so. now as, as far as you uh, how do you get to be uh, someone who who enjoys running and who uh, <laughs> who is I mean a lot of people would say you, you you run 50, 60 miles a week, you must be nuts. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it's painful, that's for sure. I've been I've been doing it for 10 years. My dad got me started running when I was in third grade. But you don't do it alone, I've learned. you. I love the team atmosphere. You have great teammates all around me that make it fun. So we do fun things. We, we hang out with each other. So... Yeah, the running's painful, but having someone to do it with makes it worth it. How much does the mental aspect play a role in, in running? Because that's something that maybe people wouldn't really think about matters, uh, but how much of a role does that play in, how, in your success? It's, it's a huge aspect. Um, mentally, you can, you can break down runners in the middle of races. I'm more of a second half of the race runner. So when a lot of guys up front get tired, I mentally tell myself, I've trained myself mentally to get those bad thoughts out where you want to quit and just give up, and I can usually bust out a good second half of the race. Um, last year, I mentally broke down. I did give up a lot of times, so I, I went to the doctor and I got everything fixed. So that this year, uh, I imagine you you feel like you're at your best, and, and this is uh, this is it for you. So you're probably ready to have your best year now. Yeah, I I made some changes this summer, so I'm did a lot more strength training, and I did a lot more um, biking and swimming. So I changed up my techniques and I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the season.